Welcome back to The Average Drinker. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker, and it is time for another whiskey review. Cheers to you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for subscribing, for liking, for commenting. I really, really appreciate your support. As I continue on this whiskey journey, it's so much fun, having a great time. Uh, also, sorry for this hat, but I'm seriously having a bad hair day under here. I was like, there is only one way to hide this, and that's with a hat. So, hat we must. That's, that's how today's gonna go. That happens sometimes. Also, my dog is here and she is going insane. Okay, Jade, apparently we're making an, come here. Apparently the dog's making an appearance in today's video. Sorry about that, I did not expect that. She just came out of nowhere and now she's just sitting under me. Okay, now that we're off track a million different directions, here we go. Well, let's talk about the bottle that I have in front of me and that is the newest release of the High West Burr Eye. This is the 2023 High West only released, thanks to our good friend and patron who helped us get this. Really excited to have this bottle. Also, this dog is still under me and it's really creepy. <laughs> so distracted. Okay, anyhow, so this release, it comes in at 92 proof, 90, yeah, 92 proof. And it has, I love the, I love the labels on these. They're always super cool. I don't know if you guys can see that real well, but. The High West labels are really freaking awesome. They look awesome. The Jackalope, I guess they call that. Anyhow, this is a blend of straight whiskeys. A blend of straight whiskeys. So that's what we've got. So I'm excited to share my review on this one. If you didn't know, I really loved last year's. Like last year's made it in the top whiskeys of the year for me. It was very, very, very good. Like freaking delicious. Every time I kept going back to it, I loved it. So now let's dive in and see how good this one is. Is it as good as that? Does it live up to that? I don't know. Let's dive in and see. And also, I'm gonna do a blind at the end to compare last year's and this year's. So we'll do that. All right, here we go. Let's dive in. Wow, on the nose, this one is like a super rich, buttery, leathery, tobacco-y, caramel. Like it's so intense. It's got not like not like too intense in a bad way. It's just got so much flavor. Like loads of flavor. Even a little bit of like nutmeg, some cinnamon. A little bit of vanilla, but not like what I typically get. This one's just like a really good balance of like spice and then like rich flavor on the nose. It smells really very good. Yeah. Alright, now let's taste it. Wow, it's very good, very good. Some of the same notes that I was getting on the nose, I got right there on the palate. It's pretty sweet right up front. Sweet with like, again, caramel, vanilla, some of that nutmeg, a little bit of cinnamon. The cinnamon really comes in on the back end of the palate. There's a little bit of like chocolate. I'm gonna sip here. Definitely leather, some, some nuts. Like, I want to say like pecans, pecans, pecans or pecans? Is it pecan or pecan? I don't know. Some nuts, definitely some nuts in there. It's good. It reminds me of like a pecan pie, actually. That's exactly what this is. It's like the, the nuttiness on the top, the pecans, maybe even like walnuts. And then it has that, you know, that creamy layer in the middle and then some crust. But then there are also some of these really darker notes like leather, tobacco. Oh, it's overall, it's very good. Mm. I wish it had more proof. That's the only thing that I think it's missing. Like there's a punch that I wish it had on the back end, like where it was kind of like, boom. It's a very crushable sipper. Very good, very crushable, very good. Uh, that's why I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys my, give, give blah, 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 blah. let's try that again. I'm gonna go ahead and try to give you guys my score. Wow, and my score on this one is four corks out of five. I think it's very good. I do not think it is as good as last year's release, but I do think it's good. I enjoy it. I like it. I'll continue to drink it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, it's very good. There, the one thing that is a downside to this bottle is A, it's a Utah only release and B, it's $125. So now that I told you my score, the four corks out of five, I would say to me, this is more like an $80 bottle versus a $125 bottle. But at $80, it would be like a hardcore buy. $100, I'm kind of starting to think about it a little bit. 125, 
it's a, it's, I guess it could be a buy, but it's just really expensive. It's really expensive. So it's all up to you. It's relative to you and your wallet and what you're willing to spend, but it is a good bottle. So there's that, there's my review. Now let's pull these two other cups up here. Bill poured me a blind of last year's and this year's, one and two, got them right in front of me. Now let's dive in and see which one I like better. But I'll let y'all know. Okay, here we go. Ooh, smells good. Whoa, they smell different, definitely different on the nose. Wow. The first glass has like this Tootsie Roll, no not Tootsie Roll, wow. Tootsie Roll, I like Tootsie Rolls. No, Twizzler. Like a, a light Twizzler note. Cinnamon, vanilla, rich buttery, butter, butter. I like butter. Cinnamon, now I'm ready to like bake something. Hmm. A little bit oak on the back end of that one. Okay, oh. Maybe nuts. Let's try glass too. Mm. It smells so nice. It just smells so nice. Oh wow. That is good. Hmm. I think that's interesting. They're both the same proof. Both blends. Do, 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 do. I think right off the bat, the first sip I, sip I took of glass number two, I was like, that is better. One more sip though. Hmm. They, they do actually taste very similar, but I think I gotta go with glass number two. My instant reaction on glass number two was that I liked it better, like right away. The flavor just was like more in your face, good. More of that pal that I'm looking for. I could be wrong, but that definitely reminds me of the 2022 release. Now let's see what I think, but I say glass two over glass one. So let's find out what glass one is first. Glass one is, oh, what? This always gets me every time. Are you kidding me? See, I knew off the nose that it smelled different because I said it had a Twizzler note, but then it tasted different. Oh my gosh, glass one is 2022. Wow. That is crazy. Ooh, chocolate. Got chocolate on that too. And then glass two is the 2023. Holy freaking moly. Dang, that's crazy. I really, really liked, I really, really liked 2020. Both of these are good, you can't go wrong. No matter how this blind ended up right then, I like both of them. I enjoy both of them. Recommend both of them. So if you ever have a opportunity, opportunity, if you ever have an opportunity to, sorry, the dog. If you ever have an opportunity to buy a High West Burai, do it. Check them out. The last few years have been very good. So that's my review and my blind. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Dara and I'll see you next time.